in this module we will we'll talk about the nucleic acid polymers the dna and rna these polymers are responsible for carrying genetic information and also this genetic information is replicated and passed on to the subsequent generations let's look at the structure of nucleic acids the monomer which makes the new uh, the monomer which makes nucleic acids is called the nucleotide it has three domains it has a phosphate group i am going to highlight all these domains it has a phosphate group here the p in the yellow ball it has a sugar molecule a pentose sugar i have put an arrow on it and a nitrogenous base now let's look at the structure of these individual components here is the structure of a phosphate group it is basically phosphoric acid which forms a bond with the pentose sugar this bond is also an ester bond because it is it bond, this bond is formed between a acid and an alcohol here the ribose sugar has oh this phosphate group will bond will form a bond with this hydroxyl group this carbon carrying the hydroxyl group and this is a ester bond nucleic acids have two types of sugars pentose sugars ribose and deoxyribose the difference here is the hydroxyl group present on the carbon atom number 2 ribose has that hydroxyl group whereas deoxyribose does not have this hydroxyl group here now let's look at the structure of nitrogenous bases these nitrogenous bases i'm going to bring that slide up have uh, these nitrogenous bases are cyclic com compounds here we go these nitrogenous bases can be and uh, can be divided into two groups depending upon their structure the pyrimidines and purines the pyrimidines have one cyclic structure whereas purines have two cyclic structures fused together here i would like to mention that purines are present both these purines adenine and guanine are present in dna and rna uh, uh, in both both these purines are present in dna and rna however in pyrimidines the thymine is not present in rna whereas it is present in dna in rna in place of thymine we have uracil now i would like to talk now i would like to talk about the pentose sugar because it plays a very important role in the chemistry of the nucleic acids i am going to bring up the structure of pentose sugar up and we are going to see how why it is important here's the pentose sugar the ribose the ribose sugar is the carbon atoms in this ribose are numbered 1 2 3 4 and 5 if you flip this molecule vertically you will get this structure it's the same molecule but however it has been flipped it is easier to look at the nucleic acids with pentose in this orientation we can abbreviate this pentose in this form where this is the carbon atom number 1 2 3 4 and 5 the important point here is that carbon atom number 3 and 5 are linked to phosphate groups phosphate group will form an ester linkage with two pentose sugars and the nature of this bond is again as i said ester linkage so this is why this bond is called phosphodiester bond since it is between phosphate and two alcohol groups hydroxyl groups therefore it is called phosphodiester bond this is the backbone of dna please notice that the backbone of dna is made up of alternating pentoses and phosphate groups next we will look at how these molecules can contain genetic information